And it's your lucky day, a chance to break news on the show. I know how much you like to do that. Jiwon Bay leading the International League in hitting has been called up. Is he in the lineup tonight? Yeah, we haven't completed our lineup yet tonight, but I would say there's a good chance he's going to be in the lineup tonight. Good chance he'll lead off? Nah, there's not a chance he'll lead off. Kutch is going to lead off. Good chance uh, he'll play <laughs> where? Will you give? I don't know, but that's what we're still walking through. I'm, uh, I need to get with uh, our offensive group and Donnie and talk through it. We'll do that. Once we uh, once we get done with the radio show, but but G will be in the lineup tonight. Well, then uh, the, the 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 flip side of that question is, uh, how did you do come to the conclusion that uh, Ryder was the guy that was going to go down? Well, I think the biggest thing is we were coming off the off day, and our pitching's in pretty good shape. I mean, as you guys well know, we pitched our starting pitching was really good in Chicago and gave us a ton of innings, so we felt like our bullpen was in a good spot. At some point, we're going to have to go get an arm, uh, you know, depending on how these games go. But right now, it, I think any time we can go with an extra position player just to give us flexibility throughout the game, uh, we will take that opportunity. And this is one of those This is one of those times. Shelty, it felt like the last game in Chicago is the recipe uh, in terms of pitching for you. When the, when the Pirates got good back in 2013, it was Melanson, Watson, Grilly. Games were if the Pirates were winning after six, the game was over. The other day you had Keller, six innings. You had Holderman, Chapman, Bednar, three innings, no hits, no runs, four strikeouts. It, it, I have to imagine that's the recipe. Yes. Yeah, that's that's really the recipe you're looking for is to be able to use your leverage guys. Uh, you know, and I think the biggest part of that was what Mitch was able to, to get out of him the sixth in uh, the maturation of Mitch Keller. I mean, he goes second and third, nobody out in a three, one game. And we come out of that inning three, two, and that's really important. I mean, we get a sacrifice fly, then he's able to get the next two guys out. Th those are the things that, that really lead into helping you win games when you can really just maintain the, the maintain the inning. And it becomes more of a, run versus rally you don't want to give up a run at any time obviously but the last thing you want to do is you want to stay away from the rally and mitch did a good job and then our bullpen was able to shut it down are you satisfied that bednar is back 100 percent to the guy we've seen in recent years i think we're seeing him get close to it you know i mean he was so good for two years with the execution of everything there's still times where we'll see some inconsistencies with the fastball, but it's so much closer. And I think we saw that throughout this last road trip that he's getting really close to where he wants to be with the fastball. I mean, a perfect example, and I'm being very nitpicky here, is like, you know, he walked Bush the other day with two outs uh, and kind of got across the fastball there. Last year, that ball's executed to the top of the zone, kind of like the 3-1 pitch. But I think he's really close.